see there's another white guy up here. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> we are here at the Ice Event Center, man. This is great. My first time here. All right. I'm loving it. I'm loving the energy. I don't get this everywhere. I was telling everybody in my job, I said, I'm going to go perform at the Ice Event Center. And they got scared. <laughs> They, they say, you ever been there? And I, I said, no. But they said, you know, that's more of an urban crowd. And I said, urban? Because I perform, I don't know how you delineate, how you differentiate an urban crowd, other than to say the opposite would be a rural crowd. And I've talked to some rural crowds. And there's nothing worse than getting up as a comedian, getting ready to talk, and you hear in the background, buy some skinner! I'm, I'm going to tell some joke. Where's some Skinner? Okay, I'll, we'll see if we get some Skinner in there. That's fine. <laughs> but anyway, um, I want to get this, uh, what was it, uh, turned up if we can. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're going to turn this up. Does anybody else feel like I do when you hear this song? <laughs> and you want to be like the Carlton dance with the Fresh Prince? and you try to sleep tonight. Because I, I won't be able to, knowing that I just did that for you all. So, are we turned up? Yeah! Man, I remember every time I tried to post something about this show, Mr. Revved Up Bro, what is it, Pro? Yeah, Pro. Yeah. Pro. <laughs> I'm so lost on the lingo. Um, uh, Mr. Pro would always put on the uh, post, he'd put hashtag turn up. Hashtag don't turn down for what? Turn down because it's too fucking loud next to my car for probably that reason, but hashtag turn up. And I must be from an older crowd because when I first heard the word hashtag, I thought that was a game that they played in Amsterdam. I didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> it's hot on a month like in here. <laughs> Man. I'm going to be the only dumbass up in here with a suit coat, too, but I think this shit look good. I was told by somebody earlier, um, broke down that suit dog looking, but where's where Slim at? Um, <laughs> um, I know he said Bruce Willis, but I was told I looked like a real celebrity uh, the other day. Um, who's, who's Steve Wilkos? Anybody know that term? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Get your ass off my stage. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry Springer, yes, that's right. How many married folks in here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm married. I got my wife here with me. And um, she's uh, she's very proud of herself. She picked out the wedding ring for me. She's very happy about it. I don't know if you guys are going to see it in the back. I'm going to try and show this to you because I got it right here. It's real bling. I'm going to be able to see it. Thank you. 
Right. I finally found the right Walmart where Jared worked in a jewelry store and he sold me some shit. He sold me some shit. So now, now somebody asked her, well, she got it from Jared. I think instead of wedding rings, actually men should wear uh, signs around their neck that says under new management. That's just me. <laughs> I just know as soon as I found mine, she had, I did not allow me to hold interviews anymore, so that was, that was a problem. So we had a good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in. I know I sound a little different from everybody else, and it's not the pigmentation. It is... Somebody, that's a big word. <laughs> and I know it's big because I'm not from around here. I am from Kansas. Okay? And there is a difference. For one, we have actually paved roads. We have paved roads in Kansas. They're pretty cool. You can drive on them and not mess your shit up. <laughs> no, you guys got a great state. You guys, I got, I love a state where you've got a governor whose uh, last name reflects the job she's doing. Failing. You guys are doing great. <laughs> And that pisses me off because I guess I'm not funny. But um, I tell them it's because I'm, it's because of what my day job is. I'm trying to get out of my day job, and they ask what that is, and I say, "Well, I'm a whore." I, yeah. No, let me clarify. I'm a state employee, and so it's my job on a daily basis to fuck as many people as possible. So whore. Um, but uh, I am from Kansas, and when you when you're from you know, you're raised either one or two ways, Christian or Democrat, and, um, <laughs> yeah, I was a disappointment, but, um, we got, we got a few differences there, I know you guys, you guys all had different children's books growing up than we did, like, we always had little different things, because we're, uh, you know, it's, it's more, of a, more of a different Bible Belt there type of thing, you know, you guys have the Bible Belt here, we got the, oh, shit belt, so, um, let me explain. You guys probably had like Horton Hears a Who, right? Y'all heard that one before? Yeah. We had Horton Fears a Gay. We had Horton Fears a Gay. That's the one we had. Um, you guys probably had um, Old Yeller. You all remember Old Yeller? Yeah, we had Old Testament. That's what we did. We had the Old. Uh, no, there was still the same amount of killing of animals, but it just kind of worked out a little bit different. Okay. okay. Turned down for what? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, so, I, uh, I was told I did this show up in Bartlesville. Anybody been to Bartlesville? Man, old, old money, some cranky ass white folks. But I, I did this show, and as soon as I got done, this woman comes up to me, she, she looks at me, and she said, Oh, man, that's some funny ass shit, white boy, you're stupid, you're stupid. And the white guy on me, the white guy on me, he was saying, I, I, I have a doctorate. But the common sense guy in me thought, that's probably some good slang. That's probably something good to have said to you. So I looked back at her and I said, thank you very much. I find you stupid as well. So, I don't know if that's a very, very compliment or not. Um, let me see which other direction I was going to go here. Because that one didn't work. That one didn't work. Uh, well, yeah, stupid. Uh, that was stupid. So check that one on the stupid list. Um, I've been told that I've got a few. Uh, I got a few mannerisms. I do certain things. I stand a certain way. Um, I will act a certain way. My wife kind of wonders a few, a few things that might be a little bit different with me at times. And I don't know what gives her this idea or how I'm going to act. I don't know what the deal is. But. She's actually, we were driving with the kids one time, and she just looked at me. She turned and looked right at me. She said, I am just so nervous and afraid that one of these days you're going to come out of the closet and divorce me. Yeah. I said, no, I'm not going to divorce you. No, that's not, that's not going to happen. She, uh, 
Um, that would be the other reason why your mom and I didn't work out so well. <laughs> hey, everybody, I'm Matthew Stroh. You guys have been great. Thank you. Turn, Turn up!